Hi, I'm Ufenze Mwase, filmmaker, content creator, director, cinematographer, editor, VFX artist from South Africa, residing in Johannesburg. Okay, uh, so the first question is, how do you plan for a shoot? So basically what we do is we come up with a treatment first for a song, like an artist sends us a song, and then we do a treatment for that song. And yeah, that's pretty much the Bible of how we're going to shoot the, the set video that we're working on. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the process. And uh, a director is not happy with your ideas. How do you handle the situation? Okay, so most of the music videos that we shoot, I usually direct them. So yeah. I would have to be unhappy with myself <laughs> so um, I've never really ran into such a problem the only time where I can have such a problem is if we're doing a project and my wife is directing Nelisi Mwase who also directs some videos that we do and yeah so we always manage to get to an agreement so we just discuss how we want to go and then we write a script and then we send it to the client and then we check with them if they like it and if they like it we develop that further and then it becomes the perfect script that we want to work with so pretty much that's how it goes yeah so i hardly ever run into those situations but yeah when i do it's never really such a difficult thing most directors are like um not impossible we just work together and we reach an agreement that we make the best videos the most the most important qualities for a director of photography is how they frame and how they light. So those are the most important things that I when I think of cinematography. So yeah, everything that we do, we're just trying to master just those two things. Those are the one of two of the most important things when it comes to cinematography. I think lighting being one of the biggest factors because that's how your image that's how you control your image so you need to master lighting if you can master lighting uh, you'll be good with cinematography and then the other stuff you can learn along the way but yeah so those are the most important things my greatest success in cinematography and content creation i would say is a film that i shot in 2016 i believe it was called the hangman that was a film that we had been developing since like 2011 so yeah that's one of the films that i did short film is about 30 minutes long you can find it on showmax it's called the hangman it's a really really great story that we shot about a guy who works in um an institution where they hang people that have done like crimes political crimes or any other crime so yeah uh, I don't want to tell you too much about the story. Please check it out online. You can also search the trailer on YouTube. It's a really interesting film. So I think cinematography wise is one of the strongest films that I've shot. It's one of the strongest narratives that I've shot. I don't get to do a lot of narrative stuff. So yeah, that was one that was like super awesome that I really enjoyed uh, working on. And it's, it went around the world to win like a bunch of awards. I think in total we... We mixed out at about 24 uh, awards all over the world, including Best Cinematography, Best Director, uh, Best Story. I think the biggest art award we got it was in New York. That was for Best Short Film. We beat like hundreds of thousands of films from all over the world. So yeah, please check out The Hangman when you have time. You won't regret it. To be honest, the biggest mistake that one can make uh, when it comes to cinematography, it's just forgetting to roll. <laughs> I think for me, for my career, that's that's the biggest mistake that I've done. And then whenever I get into that situation, I just ask, politely ask, ask the artist that, can we do it again? Most of the time, I don't even tell them that I didn't roll, you know? I just don't want to embarrass myself in front of clients and stuff like that. So I just tell them, hmm, you know what? I didn't like that one. Let's do it again. Let's do it like this, you know? Yeah, so pretty much that's that's what it's about. Most of the time, people... Well, not most of the time. Like, it happens that you forget to roll and then you have to do the shot again. It's very embarrassing. So, yeah, 
just figure out a way to tell the client to do it again <laughs> instead of just blatantly coming out and saying yo i forgot the role i'm sorry like yo so it depends on what kind of client you work with some of them can fire you on the spot you know so yeah stuff like that is a big deal but yeah luckily i haven't done it on like a very big job and yeah i still have my job i don't i can't think of any other things there that can go with this question hmm I pretty much make sure that I do the best at my job uh, all the time. So it doesn't matter what shoot I'm on. I always bring my all. I always bring 100% and people end up, you know, coming back to you when they see that you're working like that. If you have a good work ethic, especially in the cinematography division, people will call you again. And yeah, I get a lot of clients that keep calling me to come and work with them again on their different projects. So yeah, just do your best at any job and every job. For me, family means everything. Like, to be honest, like, I can't live without my family. Like, I've been on shoots where I'm out of the country for, like, you know, seven days or two weeks or whatever. By the third day, I just feel sick in, in whatever country I'm in because I just miss my family. I miss my wife. I miss my kids. Like, these guys mean everything to me. And without them, I don't think I'd be where I am in life right now because they are the driving force to each and every single thing that I do out there. They are the driving force to uh, my push, my talent, everything. I do everything that I do for them. I don't even spend much of the money that we make or whatever. It's all invested, reinvested into them, you know, becoming uh, on, into my kids, reinvested into my wife, just to make sure they're happy. Um, I'm very big on family. I think family is the biggest root when it comes to being successful in life. If you have a good family, uh, success will be easy for you. So, yeah, I take my family very seriously and I love them very much. So I do anything and everything that I do for them. Uh, working with my wife as a director as well or a writer or a producer which is all the roles that she does in our company uh, for me is not very difficult we've been doing it for years i think i started working with her literally from the first year that we dated i i, I taught her how to take photos and use a digital camera like a dslr back in 2009 you know so we've been doing this for a long time so we really we at the position where we understand each other and not much is very difficult for us we just work and kill it as much as possible we we love our work when we enjoy our work so yeah we do it as best as we can but yeah there are challenges there not everything is perfect you'll find that we fight about something on set or whatever the biggest rule that we have is that we mustn't take whatever we fight about on set at home so as soon as we get home we forgot about all the negative or whatever bad stuff that happened on set it's not always easy but that's a rule that we've set for ourselves and it's been working ever since that's why we don't end up killing each other <laughs> which is what most couples do so yeah we just have it good understanding between each other and that's how we kill it man and we, we we just make sure that everything goes according to plan and we put our all in everything that we do and the process of working together is delicious for me that's why we're so happy and you know uh, the smaller things that we do in our lives separately also help us you know become better people even on set and to other people so yeah uh, family is everything and i love working with my family we always have moments where we disagree when we're working on a project together that's normal but uh, we don't disagree in such a sense that we're like oh fuck i'll kill you i'll kill you now or something you know it's never gotten to to that position before and I'm, I'm glad that it hasn't but yeah whenever we have a disagreement we make sure that we find a way or we ask advice to maybe other people that work with us to check if what they think would be best and then if whoever gives gets the most votes out of something that's what we go for and then yeah that's pretty much how we sort that out it's never really very difficult for us it's never really very impossible but yeah we make it happen man and uh, like mm, disagreements are always gonna be there when you're in a place of work the way the thing is you must know how to sort out those disagreements that's the most important part and i think we do that quite fantastically 
the bigger vision for OM Films is just to make films, you know? We want to be in a position where we make movies. We